Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My next guest is a comedian who has voiced everything from the title roles in Archer and Bob's Burgers to a can of vegetables in Wet Hot American Summer. Please welcome H. John Benjamin. <laughs> Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah. Now, uh, let's get this right out of the way. H. John Benjamin. Yep. Uh, should I call you H? Uh, H. John? I prefer the sound the letter makes. <sighs> <sighs> what is... Do you go by John or do you go by H. John? Or? Uh, people do... Uh, uh, John, John. 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 You're because a prolific voice actor. Uh, let's see. You're Sterling Archer on Archer. Yeah. And uh, I, think we, I think we have a clip. Uh, Archer's in an alley for some reason. Do you know why Archer's in the alley? He's in an alley a lot. Uh, <laughs> he, yeah. Maybe we don't need any more than that. He does, he does some business there. All right. Jim? <laughs> Come on! Go easy, Archer! Poofy, I swear to God, I will punch you right in the genitals. It's okay. Let him go. You big lummox! Oh. Woodhouse. So, where are you, Figus? You got any leads? What do you think happened? Yeah, I think he got too far behind on his dope tab, so sometime last night his dealer punched his ticket for him. Yeah, and wouldn't that be convenient? <laughs> Not for him. You little rat <laughs> Oh! Now scram, oh. Archer! Ow, oh, son of a... I mean, just ow. Now, uh, this is the eighth season coming out This would out be now, the eighth right? season. Eighth season. Eighth, eighth. Congratulations on that. Yeah. Good. My understanding is that for the first four seasons, mm -hmm. Archer worked for something called the International Secret Intelligence Service, or ISIS. ISIS. Now, uh, uh, why a, did you why did common, you change a... the name? <laughs> yeah, it had a, there was a little problem that came up. Uh, yeah, after they named it ISIS. So uh, that was unfortunate. We changed it, yeah. Did you, you literally change it in response to them? They did, yes. They did. But the ISIS didn't change it. No. The, the terror, did you even think about the asking? The group has no affiliation with the show, but they love it. Could they change? They do love the show. Like, I know for a fact <laughs> that ISIS are big fans. and then oh, I, That's great. I, it is. It's a, yeah. it's a fine line, because I sure. know, we appreciate the support. Yeah. <laughs> Right, yeah, yeah um, exactly. But you gotta, you gotta, like, yeah. yeah. I can't hang out. No, 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 no. No. Yeah. Now, you also are Bob in Bob's Burgers. I am. And... Thank you. Thank you. We got, uh, we got a little clip here of, uh, uh we've heard Archer. Yeah. Let, let's hear Bob. Okay. The point is, Gail, you could be a little more independent and we could not give you money so much. So, so much money. I... I just want Mr. Business to be happy. I, I, I guess I, I see your point. You care more about your cat than you do about money, and that's actually nice, even though it's really our money you don't care about. Now, that is, that's a huge... That's quite a range you have there between uh, Archer. Archer yeah. and Bob. Yeah. How do you make the difference? What's the What's the key for you? It's tough. Uh, I, I. It is. I, there's a. Uh, there's very very subtle distinctions that, yeah. that are hard to. Yeah. Bob sounds like Archer sad. But. <laughs> Bob is like this, and Archer's like this. I totally heard the difference. I totally heard the difference. It is, and it's tough. It's mm -hmm. there, there's, It's tough to do that, but I. I I've, I've worked it out, and I. And, um, I, and I do work out quite a bit. Now, this thing I hold in my hand right now is one of the... I'm incredibly excited about this. Thank you. I heard about this, and I love everything about it. Yep. This is an album put out by uh, Sub Pop. It's a jazz album you put out. I did. And it's called Well, I Should Have. Yep. And the subtitle is... Uh, learned How to Play Piano. <laughs> right down here. That's what it says down there. And you yeah. got into a studio with some serious jazz musicians. Yes, I did. And did not tell them uh, that you were... don't know how to play the piano. <laughs> and cut an album. Yeah. Is this true? I mean, they knew a little bit. <laughs> they learned fairly quickly? They knew the, uh, they knew how to play their instruments, uh, and they knew where the studio was and so forth. And, uh, and then it kind of went downhill from there. Yeah. 
But I, I, this is this is one of my favorite jazz albums I've ever heard. It's a, uh, it's it's a, uh, it's a beautiful. It's truly album. groundbreaking. It really is. And it, I want to impress upon everyone that he actually did this. I did do it. And this I'm, is not I'm, fake. I'm so not honored fake. that you're actually going to play a little selection from. You're going to play um, the first track. This one's called "I Can't Play Piano Part One." Yes, there. <laughs> Okay, and the band's gonna back you up. Yep. And if you don't mind, if, there, if I'm in here, I don't know how to play the trumpet. Oh. And I was uh, wondering whether I could sit in. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's, great. Uh, yeah, yeah.